Uh, not really. How does this angle with all these cameras? <laughs> what do you want to tell the people, man? Mm -hmm. Um, it's time. It's time, baby. It's time to make a difference. Kirby went down, so I gotta not come back as good as him, but I gotta come back better. Pick the defense up. Everybody huddled around me, and um, everyone is coasting. How different did it feel to kind of take that role today in practice? Oh, it was kind of awkward because, you know, I'm always used to going in that second mic, going in always second when I was like first, so now I get that experience as first team mic. It's, just, you know, it's weird, but then at the same time, it's good. So. How long do you think it takes you to get comfortable in that role? Because obviously you got to be a little bit apprehensive at the beginning, but you got to step up. Um, I just said when it's, it's not really much, you know. It is much, but not much, you know, as how I'm preparing. So, like, I'm doing a lot of studying after the game. I started studying last night. Just I study all the time, so it slowed the game down. Slowed the game down a lot for me. I'm not talking about the plays on the on the field. I'm talking about like you got to communicate. You know, you got to be oh, more of yeah. a leader. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> that all comes preparation too. Like I get a cause in my head. Like um, just like communicating with everybody on the field. Like and we do it in meetings and it transfer from meetings to on the field. So. I know you said the other day you didn't have too much time to talk to Kerb. Um, have you had a chance to speak with him oh, yet? Oh, yeah, and I talked to him. I went to his house. Um, I talked to his mom, parents. We just, you know, he was like, he got my back and I got his. So he going to help me with stuff I don't know. You know, he's going to correct me on that. And I'm just um, listening to him. How good is it to know that, that you have that help from him, that he's still able to, to be a part of that? Oh, it's good because um, it's good they still here and gonna still communicate with me because you know you know it's it could, you could have a player that didn't want to communicate with you but he will so that's good for me. So how how was uh, Rap doing? He's doing okay. Yeah. He's doing good. It's gotta be spirits up and everything. Yeah, everything good. He's smiling. Do you, good. do you think he'll hang out with the team at all after he you know I, I know he's having surgery soon but oh yeah when he get back um when he get back after having surgery he's gonna come here and get treatment so he's gonna be around the team. And after he get back well, he probably gonna train and stuff. So, Juwan, you said you were kind of down a little bit. You know, after the game, you were starting to get down, and then that picked you up. The pick, the interception. Oh uh, no! What, what I meant, what? what I meant was down. I mean, like beforehand, not during the game. Like right. beforehand, like yeah, that's what I mean. What? Can you talk about that a little bit? It was like, cause when I first got here, you know, I wasn't really like learning the plays as quick as I should. Mm -hmm. But then when everything started to slow down for me, I got it. But what I mean is like, as like I wasn't getting it then. Right. That's what I meant by that. What about you obviously had to deal with the foot injury this summer. How much did that just kind of impact everything for you this year? Actually, that helped me. Like, okay. Because, like, I can just sit back and watch everything. Instead of them being out there and messing up and then learning, I could just learn. So it took that time, you know, what, three, four weeks I was out, I was just studying and studying, and I got back out here. Like, I missed a beat. How tough has it been? Just, it, it's tough anytime you lose a player, but you guys as a linebackers group have been hit as hard as I've seen anybody get hit. In a room, how do you? How have you guys managed to just work through that as tough as it's been? It's just that we just we keep pushing. Like Darian went down, Marquise went down. We keep the boys in good spirit. You know, Curry went down. We keep him in good spirit. We just keep pushing. Like we ain't gonna stop pushing. Obviously, Saturday is a big day for you, but it's a huge day for the team too. Give me the emotions. Give me. You said it's time. It's time. Give me the the temperature of the team in general. Uh, what you mean as our team? You know that fire, you know, like yeah, you guys are, you guys are always so under control, you it's know. Like, but but what about this week? It's like we got, we always gonna have an edge to us, but dealing with um, Clemson, they just another team, so we gonna come out, everybody gonna be fired up, and we just gonna make plays. What have been your early thoughts watching them on film? I mean, they're incredibly talented across the board. They're been talented. They got good players, good running back, good quarterback. Um, just gonna play hard. How about the keys on, on a quarterback like that? Like, He's a multi-faceted quarterback. Yeah, he can run. He got, you know, he's a good quarterback. We're going we're gonna to make it happen, though. Do you want make some tough? What makes Clemson tough? Um, They have a lot of depth. They got a lot of depth at tight end. They got a lot of depth at running back. So they can switch running back any time of the game. One get tight, they can put another first running back in. So in a quarterback mobile, so he can move, he can throw in the pocket, he can do a lot of stuff. Can you speak more about Leggett, just a tight end, just that it's a different weapon for them, maybe than what you've seen, a guy that's already scored a bunch of touchdowns? Yeah, he's just another tight end. You know, we're going to guard him just like any other person. Juwan, why'd you come to the UN? Why are you in? Uh, the atmosphere, get away from home. And when I got here, just like I, I felt home. I got some family down here, but I don't speak to them a lot. But, you know, it's just, it's the atmosphere. It's where, always good. Where, where, where was the one other, t you know, school you were thinking of between? 
Uh, I was thinking about Georgia, but they never offered me. You know, I wanted to be a hometown boy, but you know, that didn't work out. So. And what do you think of your decision now? I'm happy with it. I'm totally happy with it. I'm glad I can be here. Glad I can help.